Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So this is going to be another FPV talk. It's basically an ask FPV vlog because there's a lot of crazy new features I'm implementing such as an augmented reality drone finder. And I'll explain how that works in a bit. Uh, but first of all, let's start with just some of the basic stuff or some of the new changes that I've done. Uh, one is we do have a filter now. You could filter between Europe, US and China. Soon I'll have Australia and I'm adding a ton more shops. Currently, a lot of European shops are being added. Some are not shown because they don't have DJI stuff right now, but you get what I mean. So there are a lot of shops being added currently on both the app and the website as well. Now, speaking of the app, that's where all the changes are going to be. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, first of all, you might notice it's kind of slow. It's because of the way I'm connected to it, but I promise you it's not that slow. So the first feature is a tip system. So people could actually tip you for your help, which is really nice. So let's actually take a look at this. Um, and it's very easy to enable. All you do is you set up a PayPal me link. And I'll show you how that works in a bit here. As you can tell, we have Brian here. He has a the, the tip system enabled, and so do I. So if you click on the tip user here, um, it's under the answer. So when it, if somebody has a question and you answered, it'll just show up under your name and it'll take you to a PayPal me link. Now this is a new f kind of a new feature from PayPal, which they give you a link and uh, you post it. And basically it's kind of like a donate button. They could put as much as they want in that link and click next. And then you receive it immediately, which is really nice. I've already gotten tipped twice, which was really awesome. Thank you, Brian and audio geek for that. I wasn't expecting that. Um, but yeah, this is for you guys. I get nothing out of this. It goes directly to you guys. And I might be adding some cryptocurrencies as well because some people requested that. So that's the tipping system right here. And again, to enable it, you go to profile and you would go to settings and under settings, you would add your PayPal me link here. Now to create one, it'll be right there. But also keep in mind, you have to have the HTTPS like this paypal.me make sure it looks like that and then it continues on to whatever uh, they gave you as your link so that's very important to keep that in mind so now one more thing which i found really strange even though we have a lot of high traffic or we have pretty decent traffic not a lot of people are using the subscription system maybe you guys don't know it exists or some people don't know that what it actually does so for example let me show you what this system actually does so you would do your search in the application this is not available on the web format so you want to do your search and then let's just go to usa now where you see this red enable icon what that means is uh, you're subscribing to a product and what does subscribing to a product mean? Well, when you subscribe to a product here What it does is it puts these products into my server and it checks the price for you every six hours And if the price drops, it'll notify you and you can also access it from my favorites down here so if you click here and You can see everything you've subscribed to and you could easily remove them It sends you a maximum of two notifications per item uh, for example if in six hours this drops in price or increases it'll actually notify it'll you increase or it dropped in price and you'll be able to see it here it'll be red if the price goes up and it'll be green if the price goes down um so it, it's a it's very useful and this took actually quite a lot of time to program in and make sure it works just properly and um yeah that feature was made for you guys and uh i, I just love to see if some people are actually using it i think we had like a total of 50 people using it but depend but based upon the traffic I would, I would have liked to see a bit more but you know you can't always have what you want but yeah it was just done for you guys so i yeah just wanted to point that out there maybe you guys didn't know how that works so now the augmented reality drone finder now some people might not know what augmented reality means well what it means is you turn on your camera and it'll draw things for you in the real world which is pretty insane so i told myself by the end of this year i wanted to learn some augmented reality just for fun and i do love programming so i wanted to learn something new and i was thinking okay what can i do as an app that could be somewhat useful and at the same time give me uh, a challenge to to actually go and, and try to attempt and what I came up with was, well, after doing a lot of research and checking augmented reality applications, I saw one that I really loved. It was actually genius. So what this app does is it just scans your Wi-Fi while you're walking with the camera on, and it'll leave markers telling you how strong the signal was in each position or each room. And I found that just insane. So I was like, okay, how can I, I know I could use that into something. And then I came up with the idea of doing that, but instead of leaving markers to draw a trail, to your quadcopter based on a Bluetooth beacon that would have a small battery in it, kind of like the buzzers. And it's totally doable. I mean, the past two weeks I've been kind of working on it and I was able to, to compile a Unity engine augmented reality 
it's not a game, but you could use Unity Engine for augmented reality and have it implemented inside the application that you're looking at today and have them talk to each other, which is a huge accomplishment. And I was able to get the AR to work, just draw some circles around, um, which is a step in the right direction. I actually accomplished that quicker than I would have expected, to be honest. So I was very happy to see that. And um, this probably will be released within two to three weeks, depending on the kind of work I have to do. It'll be pretty fun to work on and it'll just give you a little extra function into the application. And the reason for that is because I want this to be the all-in-one FPV toolkit application. It'll constantly get updated as you, as many of you probably already seen, I updated every other three days or so. So many new features I'm adding, so many things I'm listening to you guys, just leave them in the app suggestions and I'm going through them one by one. And if you guys can support this channel and support the application, it'd be super awesome if you download it and check it out and use it, help others or get help and or use the price comparison feature, which will get a huge improvement uh, very soon as well, even though it works absolutely flawlessly. But I'll be adding more filtering options because people requested those. And well, that's really it, guys. So everything is linked down below. If you can check them out, that would greatly support the channel. And again, there's no ads in here. So you can go ahead and yeah, there, there's nothing annoying in there. You see the banners? I left that open on purpose. That's I just find those from the website and I stick them there for you. Whatever I find interesting, I just something for the design, really, because I'm not the best designer. But yeah, and if you are a UI designer and want to contribute, that'd be super awesome. And well, that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.